Hi, this is Janine Ferranti from Janine Ferranti Fine Art. Welcome to my newest video tutorial. This is part one of Tomato Tomato. I am painting on 20 by 28 inch Arches 156 pound cold press watercolor paper that has been stretched on my Gorilla Painter watercolor board gifted to me by my lovely friend and fellow painter, Carmen Elson. Today, I will be showing you a time-lapsed video of my painting process. This will show both a wet on wet technique and a wet on dry technique. Wet on wet, also called a la prima or first attempt in which layers of transparent watercolor paint are applied while the previous layer is still wet. And the wet on dry technique will show how applying layers or glazes over previously dried areas adds depth and richness. In both techniques, initial washes go on first, then by adding more color to the wet on wet or glazing to the wet on dry, I am able to adjust values and make subtle color changes. I have used Liquide Demascage by Sennelier, which is a tinted masking fluid to block off highlighted areas and the reflected light on the edges of the tomatoes. Light is reflecting off the tomatoes on the highest part in the center and light is also reflecting off the white of the paper and is hitting the outermost edges of the tomatoes. I want to keep these as white as possible and using the masking fluid will keep the watercolor from being absorbed into the paper in these areas. Using a wet brush dipped in clean water, I am able to lift or remove paint where I would like to show more of the reflected light on the edges of the tomatoes. With each pass, I rinse my brush in clean water so I do not reapply paint where I am trying to remove it. On the second tomato, I started to glaze the edge that is in shadow with darker paint. Already you can see that the tomato is becoming three-dimensional. Later in the next part of this video tutorial, I will paint the shadows and cast shadows. Once the shadows go on, the tomatoes will really become 3D and will feel like you can pick them up or touch them. I've started the first pass of initial washes on tomatoes three and four, laying out as much color as I can in the wet on wet technique. Here you could see me lifting two little paint splashes with a clean brush and water and, and a paper towel, wetting the two spots, tapping them with the paper towel and repeating until I've removed the mistakes. I'm lightly scrubbing, but not too hard as I don't want to rough up the membrane of the paper. Again, you could see I am lifting the paint off from the edges of the tomatoes using a wet paintbrush, clean water, and a paper towel to bring out the highlights on the edges. On tomatoes three and four, I applied another glaze of red-orange to add more depth and richness. They are really starting to pop off the page now. I'm repeating the same glazing on tomatoes one and two. I hope you enjoyed part one of this tutorial and if you would like to learn and see more, stay tuned for part two coming soon.